Australia stands apart from the rest of the world when it comes to its unique and diverse wildlife. This continent is home to thousands of species found nowhere else on the planet, from the iconic kangaroo bounding across the outback to the mysterious platypus quietly swimming in freshwater rivers. Australia's fauna is like no other. But what caused this incredible diversity and uniqueness? To understand, we need to look at Australia's geological history, its long isolation, the incredible evolutionary adaptations of its animals, and the impact of its varied ecosystems. This story spans millions of years and reveals why Australia's wildlife remains one of the most fascinating in the world. Australia was once part of the ancient supercontinent Gondwana, which included South America, Africa, Antarctica, and India. Around 180 million years ago, Gondwana began to break apart, and Australia separated roughly 40 to 50 million years ago. Since then, it has drifted as a solitary landmass, surrounded by vast oceans with no land bridges to other continents. This isolation is critical because it meant that animals and plants on Australia evolved separately from the rest of the world's species. Without regular species exchange, Australia's ecosystems developed along their own unique lines. Species that arrived before the breakup adapted and radiated into diverse forms, while many groups common elsewhere, like large placental mammals, were absent or arrived late and in limited numbers. This isolation also meant Australia retained some of the world's most ancient lineages, including egg-laying mammals known as monotremes. The lack of large mammalian predators in Australia until recent times allowed marsupials and reptiles to evolve into niches often occupied by placental mammals on other continents. This evolutionary freedom encouraged diversity and specialization. One of the most defining characteristics of Australian wildlife is the dominance of marsupials. Unlike placental mammals, which give birth to more developed offspring, marsupials give birth to very underdeveloped young that complete their development in a pouch. This reproductive strategy evolved independently in Australia and led to a wide array of species adapted to different ecological roles. Kangaroos, wallabies, wombats, possums, and the carnivorous Tasmanian devil are all examples of marsupials that occupy roles similar to placental mammals found in other continents. This adaptive radiation filled many niches, some that in other continents are filled by rodents, carnivores, or even ungulates. Marsupials show incredible variety in size and behavior. The red kangaroo, the world's largest marsupial, can grow over 6 feet tall and sprint at speeds up to 35 miles per hour. On the smaller side, animals like the honey possum feed exclusively on nectar and pollen, playing an essential role in pollination. The Tasmanian devil, known for its ferocious feeding frenzies and bone-crushing jaws, is the largest carnivorous marsupial and plays a vital role in cleaning up carrion. Sadly, it faces threats from a contagious cancer known as devil facial tumor disease, putting the species at risk. Even more unique are the monotremes, the only egg-laying mammals in existence. Australia is home to the platypus and four species of echidnas, all monotremes. This group is considered the most primitive living mammals, having retained reptilian characteristics such as laying eggs instead of giving live birth. The platypus is especially fascinating. It has a duck-like bill, webbed feet, and the males produce venom from spurs on their hind legs. It uses electroreception to hunt underwater, detecting the electric fields generated by prey like shrimp and insects. Echidnas, on the other hand, resemble spiny anteaters and feed mainly on ants and termites. The survival of monotremes in Australia, when they went extinct elsewhere, highlights how Australia's isolation preserved these ancient lineages. Australia isn't just a single habitat, it's a continent of varied climates and ecosystems, from the arid deserts of the interior to the tropical rainforests of the northeast and the temperate forests of the southeast to the vast coral reefs along the coast. Each environment has pushed species to evolve unique adaptations. The deserts have some of the most impressive examples. The thorny devil, a small lizard covered in spikes, has developed the ability to collect moisture from dew or rain that runs along its skin to its mouth. It blends perfectly with the red sand, avoiding predators while surviving extreme heat and drought. Many desert animals are nocturnal to avoid daytime heat and have specialized diets. Rainforests harbor an incredible variety of birds like the superb lyrebird, famous for its incredible mimicry skills, and the cassowary, a large flightless bird capable of inflicting serious injury with its sharp claws. These forests support unique mammals like the tree kangaroo, which lives almost entirely in trees, unlike its ground-dwelling relatives. 
coastal and marine environments add another layer. The Great Barrier Reef is the world's largest coral reef system and supports tens of thousands of species, many endemic to Australia's waters. This includes the deadly blue-ringed octopus, a small but venomous cephalopod whose toxin can cause paralysis and death in humans. Australia has some of the world's most venomous snakes, including the inland taipan, whose venom is the most toxic known to science. Other venomous species include the eastern brown snake and coastal taipan, responsible for most snake bite deaths in Australia. The saltwater crocodile, the largest living reptile on Earth, inhabits northern rivers and coastal areas. These apex predators can reach lengths of over 6 meters and have powerful jaws capable of crushing almost anything. Crocodiles have survived virtually unchanged for millions of years, embodying the primal wildness of Australia's fauna. Australia's amphibians also exhibit impressive diversity, with many frog species specialized for particular environments. The southern corroboree frog, for example, produces its own toxins to deter predators. Unfortunately, many amphibians face threats from habitat loss and introduce diseases like chytridiomycosis. Australia's unique wildlife faces serious threats from invasive species introduced by humans. Animals like the red fox, feral cats, rabbits, and cane toads have devastated native populations by predation, competition, and habitat destruction. The red fox, introduced for hunting, preys heavily on small to medium native mammals and birds. Feral cats have been implicated in the decline of many species, including ground-nesting birds and small marsupials. The cane toad was introduced in the 1930s to control cane beetles damaging sugarcane crops. However, it became one of the most notorious invasive species, rapidly spreading across northern Australia. The toad is toxic to predators that try to eat it, causing declines in native species that have no resistance to its poison. Habitat loss from agriculture, urban expansion, mining, and logging further endangers Australia's wildlife. Climate change is introducing new challenges, including increased bushfires and drought, which impact food and water availability. In response, Australia has implemented extensive conservation programs. These include predator control, captive breeding and reintroduction efforts, protected reserves, and strict biosecurity measures to prevent further invasive species introductions. Indigenous knowledge and land management practices are increasingly recognized as vital tools in conservation efforts. Australia's wildlife is a remarkable product of millions of years of isolated evolution, ancient mammalian lineages, and adaptation to extreme environments. The dominance of marsupials, survival of monotremes, presence of some of the world's most venomous snakes and deadly predators, and the rich marine biodiversity make Australia one of the most biologically distinctive places on Earth. Protecting this unique heritage is essential, not just for Australia, but for the global community. The stories embedded in Australia's wildlife offer insight into evolution, ecology, and the resilience of life. For anyone interested in the natural world, Australia is a living museum of nature's greatest experiments, a continent unlike any other, where evolution has crafted some of the planet's most extraordinary creatures.